Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, I'm Amy. quickly sit down and film because I was going to go out to Neptune or I am going out and I have a couple of pieces from well PR pieces from brands that I wanted to open so I thought we could open them together and then I'm gonna head out to Neptune because I love Neptune and I shop on the website all the time and I have so many items from there in the house but I've never actually been to a Neptune shop so I'm really looking forward to that. So I thought I'd pop out and bring you guys with me. But then I thought, first of all, I would quickly pop on here and show you um, the, some of the PR pieces that I've rec received this morning. First is from Dermalogica. This is something very exciting. I don't actually know what it is. It's got like a, a safe and then I'm assuming a rip from this end. Oh, how fun. Oh, it's fallen out. So this is the new Pro Collagen Banking Serum. Oh, I get it now. So it was a bank, right? Okay. So this is for plumping and preserving your skin. This sounds lovely. I really like the sound of this. I'll try this out and I'll let you guys know what it's like, but I love Dermalogica products. I think they're like one of the best skincare brands out there and a lot of people sleep on them. I know that they're pricey, but compared with like Drunk Elephant, who in all honesty, I haven't really used very many of their products, but the prices aren't that different and I love Dermalogica, it really, really works. And then the second parcel I received this morning is this one from Hello Clean. I think it's from Hello Clean anyway. I thought I saw it on the side of the box somewhere. It is from Hello Clean, it's on the label. I thought I was going insane. So Hello Clean, if you haven't heard of them before, I think they're just like a shower care brand. So they do like shampoos, conditioners, um, they have like shower head replacements and I think they have body wash as well. And they reached out to me for a number of reasons, but I mentioned that I'm trying to um, grow and improve the overall health of my hair ready for the wedding in September. So they very kindly sent me a, a goodie box. I don't actually know what's inside, so this is gonna be quite exciting. Oh my God, this is massive. Okay, the box was enormous, but inside was this better hair kit. So I'm assuming we have the hard water shampoo and conditioner and maybe the shower head. I don't actually know. Oh yeah, it's on the back. So we have the shower head, the shampoo and the conditioner, which is an anti-breakage formula. So I'm really excited to try these out and I will let you know what they're like. I know a lot of people are looking for really good hair care. So I will try these out for a few weeks. I don't actually know. I'm going to have to like look into how long it takes from when you start using a product to when you actually start to see results. So I'll look into that and I'll let you know how long I've been using it and how well I think it's working. This is what the shampoo looks like. This is the conditioner. And in here we also have a shower head, which is wild. I've never used anything like this before. And it says that it is suitable for dry hair and skin, sensitive skin and scalp. But I'm gonna see if we can replace our shower head with this and see how that works. And again, I will let you know what this is like for my hair and any changes that it has made. So now that I've made a massive mess in the living room, I'm gonna tidy up a little bit, put my coat on and head to Neptune because there's nothing I really need in particular, but I really just wanna have a little look because I love a lot of that one of my favourite candles or newest favourite candle is from there that my mum put in my Christmas stocking and I definitely want to see if we've got any more of them, maybe some artificial flowers because I have a new vase in the living room in here and I want to get some new flowers for there and I don't know just see what else they have because I love Neptune. This is the new vase that I have. Please excuse the Christmas print in the back because I haven't had a chance to change it yet. But this is my new vase. It's a massive, massive, um, like concrete, I guess, vase, but it's a bit brownish, which is really nice. And I have some faux peonies and these ranunculus, which are from 
Neptune, but you know, they're just kind of shoved in there and I didn't really pay too much attention. So I think I'd really like to change them to like a green hydrangea or something, just to add a bit more color because everything is so white and plain. So I really want to add a bit more color in. And then obviously I've added a little blue vase there. We bought this in Marrakesh, which is super cute and hopefully we can sort of jazz up this area a bit more because yeah, it's a bit too plain for me. I'm just getting myself ready to go to the hairdressers. I'm gonna finish my coffee, but I thought I would vlog really quickly because as usual, I'm, well, actually I'm not late because I've decided I wanted to go to Sostri and Green before going to the hairdressers to have a little look. So I wasn't obviously planning on getting a train into Liverpool at this time. So I'm like just quickly did my makeup. I haven't done anything to my hair. It's absolutely gross, but um, I'll show you in the hairdressers and like talk you all through my hair. Uh, but it's like broken, damaged, and trying to obviously keep heat off it and be really kind to it. So um, that's why I look a bit of a mess. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish my coffee. I've already got a bit of lip oil on, so this is quite difficult, but I don't want to do proper lips today. I'm just going to do a little bit of lip liner. So that was Charlotte Tilbury, Super Size Me. And then just some Dior lip oil. This is my favourite. Just to keep my lips hydrated. Oh, actually, I want to bring a bit of moisturiser with me. I've got some like dry patches on my face here. So I might just like top up a little bit of moisturiser. See how that goes. Oh, my hair's in absolute state. I kind of like my eyebrows. I haven't put any pencil on them. And I think maybe like by not putting pencil on them, it's making them look a lot more sort of like brushed out. I don't know. I don't actually know how cold it is outside, but I'm gonna wrap up anyway, because I'm always freezing no matter what I do or where I go. Oh, I've forgotten to put earrings in. So I've just got my navy coat and scarf. And then I'm just going to kind of hope for the best that I don't see anyone that I know. And then, yeah, just get a cute, a couple of cute little stationary bits. I have actually lost my diary, though, which is really, really upsetting. Um, I don't have a clue where it is. So I've just texted Geth to see if he's put it somewhere because I wanted to buy a few bits in Sostrian Green for my diary. But if I can't find my diary, then it's no good. So mm, try not to panic about that. So I've just arrived in Liverpool. It's a lovely crisp day and I think I've got about 45 minutes until my hair appointment. Um, so I'm just going to pop in and have a really little good, like hopefully wander and shop around Sustream Green because there's a few bits that I'm hoping to get, but you never know what you're going to get in there. But it's such a cute little shop. I'm just here now. So let's have a little look. Straight off the bat, look how cute these are. 
I really want one, but I don't know what I would do with it, but it is so cute. I'm definitely going to get some of these because I love them so much. They're really, really nice and I love them with hummus. So I'm just going to go and get a basket, I think. It's another cute little board. I love this, but yeah, I just don't know what I would do with it, but it is so cute. I have enough like decorative boards, so I don't really know what I would do with that. And lots of really cute bits. These glasses are super cute. Love them. I love these bowls. We need new bowls, but I know Gas would absolutely hate them. I love how this looks. That's so cute. I'd love to have them on the side of the kitchen, you know, if I had like open shelving, just to like have on display because I don't actually like olives. I think they're gross, but they look really cute. Oh, and look, they look really cute as well. This is my favorite section. I love all the napkins and the candles. I always buy candles from here because I just love them. And of course, like the napkins, they have the best selection and always so many. I have loads of pillar candles at the minute, so I'm not gonna get any pillar candles. So I might just have a little look at napkins. I really like these. I think these are really pretty, so I'm gonna have some of them. I had these before, these were cute. Let me get some of them. These are cute. I like them. Oh, this is cute. Look at the hydrangeas. Gas gonna hate these. These little storage boxes are super cute. I like this. And really good to have, you know, like if you have a few birthdays and things coming up, really handy to just have. I've put a couple of like bottle bags in my basket as well because they're always really handy to have and they have like really nice plain birthday stuff that you can stock up on which I love. The stationery is always my favourite. I think this notebook is really cute so I picked that up. I think these are super cute but I'd like if they had like sticky across the top which they don't so I'm not gonna get them. And I think that box is really cute as well. I really want that but I can't think of anyone I could give it to. And some more bits of stationery like a little desk calendar which is cute. And some more notebooks. This one's really cute. As well as the pink one. It's cute. I like the little, it looks like a little four leaf clover for good luck. I like the garden section, which is really cute. I like this um, blown glass with this effect. I'm such a sucker for it. I want some glasses like that um, in white, which would be super cute. I love these vases up here. These look really nice. Oh my god, that's so cute and it's so cheap. I'm loving the dark blue. Oh my god, they've got the plump and white. Oh, Gas would hate it, but I love it. Mm. But I also love the dark blue. And those little tea light holders look really nice as well. Love. This lantern's really cute. I actually have a similar one from H&M, but it's bigger than this and I've always wanted like a smaller one to go next to it. So I'm actually really tempted, but I can't be able to carry this like the opposite side of town but i'm really tempted and if they had more i might come back i don't know okay the goods have been purchased i did really want to go to gooey which is right here but it's closed at the minute which feels unusual but anyway i i guess my diet will thank me because i've been last week i was really good and then i've completely well and truly fallen off the wagon in terms of my diet so I guess it's a good thing. So I'm just going to head over straight to the hairdressers, I guess. I um, might stop off in a coffee shop or something on the way, get myself a coffee and a snack because I'm going to be there for a long time. I'm getting a full head of highlights and it does usually take a long time, which is fine because Helen is brilliant and she's so thorough. So I don't mind being there all day. Uh, so yeah, I'll just get myself a snack. I've got a book and my laptop with me. I really want to finish my book, but me and Helen literally just don't stop talking the whole time that I'm there, which is really nice. We get on so well. She's such, well, she's an amazing hairdresser, but such a lovely girl. And we're both getting married this year. So obviously like that is very exciting. And we have so much to talk about, about wedding planning. Cause it's, it's a really weird bubble to be in when like, nobody else really cares about your wedding so for both of us to be in this bubble together is really really nice so we'll probably just be talking for hours and actually i'm gonna give her a text now and see if she wants coffee i will probably put some starbucks but i need matcha and i don't have anywhere else to go and get it so needs masks and all that let's get a snack as well i think i might just get a croissant well, actually, no, lemon. Always lemon. Oh, yeah. 
I've just finished at the hairdressers and I love my hair. I'm really obviously unhappy about the length. Um, we have this really funny sort of like ongoing thing where I hate the length of my hair but Helen won't let me cut it and she won't do it for me because she knows like the ultimate goal is to have it longer for the wedding so that I can have more options but we still go. Uh, so yeah, I, I love her and I trust her so much. So we're, we're persevering with the long, well, it's not long hair but growing it a little bit but love the colour obsessed with it and now I'm just gonna head home it's about half past three now so I'm going to head home and get cozy with a book because I didn't manage to read actually I edited today's vlog and I've still got a little bit of editing to do so I'm gonna get home and edit that because this one actually has to go up tonight so I've got to get home quickly I think and start editing finish it off and get it up on YouTube for you guys and then 
I will probably chill with a book and a cup of tea and that'll be really nice and cozy. I just got home and I thought I would do a really quick um, Sostrian Green haul because I am in a little bit of a rush as always, but I have a little bit of shopping. Just thought I would show with you. So first of all, I got this cute little notebook, which is just cute. And I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but if you love notebooks, you get it. Like me and my mum absolutely love notebooks. I got loads of napkins. So I got these ones and these. I thought these little blue bells were really cute. I got these, which I wasn't sure of. And then I saw them on a box and I thought they looked really cute. These ones, which are really pretty. And I think this is, no, this is not the last set of napkins. These, and then, these. I don't actually remember picking these up, but whatever. So I love Sostrian Green napkins, if you can tell. I got some bottle bags. So I got this cute blue one, which they're just handy to have because you're always giving someone a bottle of something. And then this one that has like little four leaf clovers on them for good luck, which is, I felt cute. I've got two of these little pillar candles that go with something else that I bought, which is in here. So let me just show you, I'll put these down. So I got this little glass tray that I thought was really cute, but it's for candles. So I thought this, they always have candles on, but because I have, um, I've had a few flare ups of my asthma because of candles. So I thought this would be cute so that I could have a candle on in the corner of the room in the living room where I always love having candles on so that I'm not always constantly going through my Neptune or white company ones. I can use these and I thought this was really cute and the little dish is cute to like catch all the wax. So yeah, I got this one. I got some ribbon because these actually look really similar in colour to our wedding invitations. Now that I can see them in the light, it maybe looks a little bit greeny. I don't know, but they were really affordable. I always use ribbon in my wrapping anyway. And I thought I would try them next to the envelopes and see what they looked like because I'm struggling to find the right ribbon for our wedding invitations. So watch this space. And then the last and least exciting thing is this rosemary focaccia. I, oh no, it's not focaccia. Bocassine, what, what? I don't know how to say that. My family will be laughing at this. Beside the point, I love these. They're really nice. Now I need to go and buy some hummus to have them with. So if you have a soft green green near you, you need to get these because they're really nice. So yeah, that is everything that I got today. And then obviously the most expensive purchase was my hair, which I love. I just love having my color done and it like feels so fresh and new. And I love having Helen do my hair. So yeah, it was really exciting talking about some wedding hairstyles and makes it feel so much more real, which is just wild. Like I said, this vlog is going up tonight, so I need to hurry up and get it edited and posted onto YouTube. So I am gonna head off. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and get editing. I will see you on the next vlog, which will be wedding ring shopping, which is so exciting. We're going this weekend to try on some wedding rings and I'm I'm really excited. We're gonna make a thing of it, obviously, like wedding ring shopping, we're gonna go for a lovely date lunch and, trying some rings, some shopping. I'm really excited. So I'm looking forward to share that with you and I will see you next week. Bye.